In this video I show you how you can improvise a super stable but flexible rope from such a twig and I give you three tips for better results, so stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife project video. To know some techniques how you can improvise a piece of cord or rope from natural materials can make the difference in many bushcraft and survival situations. There are some roots which you can dig out which are flexible enough to make in cord or rope, for example spruce roots. There are some very strong barks you can use as cord, for example elm or willow bark. There are some grasses you can twist into a rope. There are some fibers you can use for making cord, for example stinging nettle fibers or hemp fibers. And there are also some twigs or small branches which you can use to improvise cord or rope. For make this possible, you have to break apart the fibers lengthwise by twisting the branch and like that the branch becomes flexible. Not all tree species are suitable for this technique. I mostly use hazel or willow. But in the past I was also successful with birch or spruce and I'm sure there are a lot of other trees on which you can use this technique. Just try it out. This technique works best with young, straight-grown twigs or shoots with no side branches. That's why hazel and willow are my favorite trees for this kind of rope improvisation. So, if you use this technique the first time, I recommend do not use a twig which is thicker than your pinky, because the thicker the branch, the more strand it takes to break up the fibers. So, let's start doing it. My tip number one, whenever possible, don't remove the twig from the trunk or leave the twig in the ground. Otherwise, you have to fix the branch somehow on one end so that you can twist the branch. Like that, you have one problem less. I always start to twist the branch on the thin end. It doesn't take much power at the thin end and you will hear a slightly crack when the fibers break apart. If the first 10 or 15 centimeters are done, I make something like a crank with the soft part of the branch. The crank has the shape of an S. And this crank will help you to build up enough force that you can twist the rest of the branch. Often this crank technique works perfect, but sometimes certain area remaining stiff because the fibers do not break all the way through lengthways. These problem areas you find often around the side branch. Stiff spots can break if you want to use the twisted branch like a rope. That's why these places has to be reworked. But in most of the cases the bark is already flaked off and the wood is very slippery. In cases where you don't have enough grip or enough strength to split the fibers lengthways, I recommend my tip number two. Take a branch with a diameter about two centimeters. Split it lengthways until the middle. Now you can insert the branch into the gap. With this you can improvise something like a pliers which you can hold and turn the slippery branch very powerful.
Tip number three. If you need more flexibility in the branch, you can also twist the branch in the opposite direction. Like this, more fibers will break. But this is just necessary if you need really a super flexible rope. To increase the flexibility even more, you can also pull the rope carefully around the branch or trunk. Like this, but be careful. With this rope, you can bind all kinds of constructions together. The best knots for these ropes are the knots where the rope clamp itself and where the rope doesn't make narrow turns. This is for example the close edge or the constrictor nut. You can bind together a secure tripod for cooking over the fire in a pan. You can bind together a tripod for a shelter, for a chair, for a table or whatever. And in this special case, where I made a tripod for cooking over the fire, I left a side branch which I can use as hook. I learned this technique from my bushcraft hero, Zeb Fischer. The link to his fantastic channel you find in the description box below. So next Friday, I will show you my favorite project you can do with such a rope. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao.